Hello, BookTube. So, I want to discuss a little bit about my reading the last month, or at least, more appropriately, my lack of reading for the last month. Because it's uh, been one of the reasons why I haven't been making videos, and it's also just a general frustration in my own life. And I wanted to talk about that, and discuss that a little bit, and see what everyone else thinks. Um, so, I have a few conflicts with my reading, and lately the, the biggest one has just uh, finished. It's out of my life. I, I've been at university, but then part of my university involves me being in uh, schools, and so that has taken a lot of my time, and I've been spending a lot of time uh, working on that. and. Uh, Part of the conflict with that is, you know, you think you can just go home and then you have your time to read by yourself, but for me, it's not, it hasn't worked out that way, and there are, there's one major reason why, and I want to discuss that, it's uh, guilt with my reading, and I want to explain that. That is when I'm, I pick up a book, and I want to start reading, and I want to enjoy it, but then I constantly have these voices in my head just telling me, like, you've got work to do, you've got other things you could be doing, you could be spending your time a lot wiser, you could be getting stuff done, and then you can read. Well, lo and behold, I put down my book, I try to get my stuff done, and by the time I, I either get my stuff done or I don't finish what I'm working on, I end up, it's too late to read, I'm too tired, and I end up just going to bed. And that just continues, and I, I've, th I've tried to set aside some time to read, which I have been doing, or at least I did, um, where I would read in the morning, I would wake up at least an hour earlier than I needed to, and I would try to read in that time. And I, and I would, and that did work, but because I'm a slow reader, that wouldn't get me very far. And I just want to know, is that something uh, that other people have an issue with? Like, is it just me who's sitting down and wanting to read, and then you have all these uh, reminders in your head going off about what you could be doing instead? Like, you could be cleaning uh, the house, or you could be doing the dishes, or you could be... I don't know, doing yard work, or whatever it happens to be. For me, it's homework, and, or, um, whatever, what's all involved with that, and it just doesn't really seem to go away, and so I'd never, so my reading issue didn't go away until that ended, and, and I'm out of the school now, and now I have my summer holidays, or my spring summer holidays, uh, so I have a lot more time. Uh, on my hands, and so I'm I've been trying to work reading back into my daily routine, which is not not difficult because reading just comes it really does uh, become natural for me because I have been reading for so long. So that's what made that that month such an anomaly because I've never slowed my reading down that much before, but non non nonetheless I did, and that's what just what ended up happening. Um, and then I have another issue with another conflict with my reading, and that's my awareness of reading too slow. And that's not a new issue for me. I've been trying to understand that for a while, or coming to grips with it for a while. As you see with some of my older videos, there was a, a time when I tried a reading challenge, or a speed reading challenge, where I tried to read, what, twice as many books? and in the same amount of time, or in a couple of weeks, as I normally would. And, uh, for the most part, that sort of went well. For the most part, that went well, in the sense that, I mean, I did read books a lot quicker, and I actually read them, like, I understood their contents to an extent. I didn't, I wasn't, uh, nearly as proficient at comprehending what I was reading. But that was to be expected, which is why I chose certain books that I didn't think I needed to comprehend that well. Uh, and though that was slowed down by 
two very unexpected experiences where the books that I wanted to speed read ended up being actually really good. And then my mind just automatically slowed down because I wanted to catch and understand every word. Uh, and then that fizzed out, and I haven't really gone back to that because um, usually I only want to try something like that when I have a lot of time, a lot of time to read because uh, if I'm busy all day and then I have maybe an hour or two to read, I don't want to spend those that hour or two not comprehending what I'm reading. I'd rather uh, spend a larger chunk of time uh, trying to work up those muscles of speed reading in a time where I can, where I have a lot of time off, and so there's a lot of more flexibility in uh, in how I read and, and what in my time to read. So, so the conflict with slow reading is not a new issue for me. It's something I've always been wrestling with the past. Um, but the issue for me is a unique, uh, unique one too, in the sense that, uh, speed reading, you, for me, I need to, I don't want to speed read just any book, or at least not speed reading in the sense where I'm just, um, staring at the words or whatever. It's actually like, when I think of speed reading, I mean like actually going line by line and having my eyes just, um, I guess you could say gloss over it. Uh, while we'll trying to understand the words without sub-vocalizing on the inside. So that's what I mean by speed reading. I don't mean um, what some program, programs recommend that you do, where you just zip, zip, zip down the line of the page, and you don't actually see or read in words, but you read in chunks. Um, that's not what I mean by speed reading. And... You know, I know I read really slow. I probably read, on a, at a good book, I probably read about 40 pages an hour. And on a more and then the more difficult the book, the much slower that it gets. And I want to show the books that I've been reading now. Uh, let's see. Or at least that I'm starting to read now. I've got two, at least on the fly here. And... Uh, the ma my main read right now is uh, Plato. I finished uh, finished the last days of Socrates, I think last week, uh, and now I started this. This is Gorgias or Georgius or ho however you pronounce the G's in that name. Um, and about fifty pages in, not it's it's not very long. It's about one hundred and thirty pages, and this is not something that I would ever want to speed read because I actually want to follow whatever it is their conversations are uh, between Socrates and his um, conversants. I want to follow what they're actually saying and so I would never want to speed read this because this is important reading for my Western canon reading list. And then we have the other issue too which is a book that I guess I'll, I'll need to explain. This is The Fairy Queen by Edmund Spencer, and the most obvious thing is that I can't speed read this is because it's in verse. It's a big epic poem, and probably the most, I want to say notorious, but Milton could take that mantle as the most notorious, but this one is much longer than Milton, and as you see, I'm about one third the way through, and so I can't speed read this because it's also an old, older uh, Elizabethan English uh, verse or Spencerian verse, uh, and um, I haven't actually started this this year because um, I read about maybe 400 pages of this last year during the summer, and I was actually also concerned about how slow I was reading it. It took me over a month to get about 400 pages into this. And I wasn't willing to dedicate more time to reading it, especially as the semester was coming up uh, for school, and there was no way I was going to sit and read this for fun while I was trying to uh, study for my classes. So I, I decided to put this aside, and I was, but I'm determined to actually start it up this summer, or this spring and this summer, and actually complete it. And I don't think it, it'll be an issue because the story is actually quite engaging. Like once you get into this, you can really get into it. It's quite fun at times, but it can also be quite didactic. But And that doesn't turn me off in any way. 
um, because I, I enjoy seeing his different values and his different, uh, ways of storytelling through his own, uh, verse, and I quite enjoy that. Though I wouldn't recommend this to just your average person. Certainly not. And it's definitely not something I want to speed read. And so, if I'm reading books like that, I can't practice speed reading. And, um, but yet I'm still stuck with that issue. Like, how do I read quicker? And how do I read more? And maybe your answer would be, that's not the point. You shouldn't be wanting to read quicker or more. But putting things in, into perspective, for me, um, a good day would be reading, say, a good day for me, a good reading day would be me reading like 50 pages of this, and then maybe reading 25 pages of this, because of just how slow I am, and that's maybe across a couple of hours of reading. And, uh, and that, that holds me back, and the reason why I say that is because um, I have this huge Western canon list that I want to get through, and it's taking me quite, or way, way longer than I ever expected it to. Even then, I was expecting it to take forever, like um, 10 years, give or take. But at this rate, crawling through Plato, and Plato is not even the most difficult writer in the world, like, um, next, after I'm done Plato, I'll be moving on to Aristotle, and Aristotle is, uh, famous for his almost impenetrable prose, so I can't imagine I'll be going very fast with that, unless, unless I have to revamp my whole entire idea of wanting to read through the Western canon list by not, by being okay with not c comprehending every jot and tittle, and just moving with the work and getting the feel for the work as I read it. Like, I can, I could speed up my reading of this today if I wanted to, because this is in dialogue and prose, so, um, I could, I could get through this a lot quicker and, and finish it, um, but I still, I still want to actually I don't know. It's a it's a conflict. It's an, it's an open question for me, which is why I'm making this video because I want to know what everyone else thinks about their own conflicts with their reading and, and about what I had to say about mine. Do you have conflicts with your own reading, and what are they, and how do you resolve them, or how do you wrestle with them? Is there anything that you could do to uh, do away with these conflicts, or is, what are the uh, the issues at hand? And that and, and that's that's all I have to discuss. Um, just a note about other videos or further future videos uh, in this on this channel. Uh, I did buy like uh, two big bags full of used books, but I didn't. I haven't really bothered to make a video about them because I don't want this channel to just be about me buying a bunch of used books that I technically don't need, and then nattering about them um, ignorantly, because I haven't read them, of course, and then shelving them, shelving them, and then posting like a 50-minute video uh, showing off these books. I want this channel to be more about me having discussions and thinking through my reading and uh, being more and improving my ability to to speak and uh, speak my thoughts and give my give voice to uh, whatever issues I'm dealing with in my reading life or any bookish topic that comes to mind, which is the the whole idea of why I'm posting this video and hopefully it stays under 15 minutes instead of uh, you know another 50 minute uh, used book haul. And it could could do that video if people want it, but I don't can't imagine why. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it for me. Uh, and uh, leave your thoughts in the comments and see see what you think about this topic of bookish conflicts in your own life. See you, booktube.